Hello everyone, um, I'm going to explain uh, the effect of changing the bracket position on the slot prescription. Well, first of all, we know that there is first order bend, which is in and out, the second order bend, which is the tip, and third order bend, which is the torque. Uh, there, there are many movements uh, or many variations in the bracket positioning. Either we can take the bracket and we cross the occlusal line, i.e. we take it from the lower and place it on the upper, and this is called crossing the occlusal line. And this will result in changing the tip and torque. Uh, there is also some variation where we take the bracket from one side and we place it on the contralateral side, and this is called crossing the midline, and this will result in changing the tip only. And there is another way where we keep uh, we use the same bracket of the same tooth, but we put it upside down, like in the plateau standing lateral, and it's called an uh, inversion, and this will result in change in the torque only. Uh, I would also like to explain that changing the torque twice or changing the tip twice result in no change, i.e., for if we cross the midline for some reason and we inverted the bracket, this means that the tip will change and the torque will, uh, and the torque will change. And this means that we get a tip and torque change. It's a combination effect. <clears throat> uh, another example is if we cross the occlusal line and we cross the midline, we will see that <clears throat> as a result of crossing the occlusal line, the tip, will ch uh, the tip and torque will change. But due to crossing the midline, the tip will change back again. So at the end, we get change in the torque only. So in the first scenario, the upper left lateral incisor is placed on the uh, upper left lateral uh, upper, upper central. Uh, sorry, upper, uh, upper left uh, central brackets is placed on the upper left central tooth, uh, and this means that there is no change in the first, second, and third order bend. In the other scenario, <coughs> I will take the upper left lateral bracket and invert it upside down, and this means that we will get a change in the torque only. In the other scenario, I'm going to take the lower left canine and place it on the lower right canine. And this means that I cross the midline, so at the, res as at the end I will get change in the tip only, no change in the third or the first order bend. <clears throat> in the other scenario, I'm going to take the lower left, lower right canine bracket and place it on the upper, upper right canine, i.e. I cross the occlusal line, I didn't invert the brackets, I didn't cross the midline, so I get a change in the tip and torque, and the, to the tip will be changed from positive to negative, and the torque will change from negative to positive. Now I'm going to do uh, th uh, another combination. I'm going to take the lower left five bracket, invert it upside down, cross the occlusal line, and place it on the upper left uh, second premolar. I.e., I cross the occlusal line, so the tip and torque change, and I inverted the bracket, and the torque change back again. So the, ch the, change of the second change in the torque <coughs> will delete the first change of the torque, and at the end, I get change in the tip only. In the final scenario, I'm, I'm taking the upper, lower left uh, seven tube and I place it on the upper right seven uh, mo uh, or second molar, uh, i.e. I cross the, uh, the occlusal line, I cross the <coughs> midline, and I inverted the bracket. So what's happened? The tip and torque change, then the tip change again. So this means that the second change in the tip will delete the first change, and then the torque will ch change back again when I inverted the bracket. So again, the second change in the torque delete the first change of the torque, and at the end, I get no change in the tip and torque, and the tip and torque of that bracket will stay as it is. I hope this explains a few confusion among my colleagues, and thank you so much for lis uh, listening to this uh, video. Have a good day.